So that's a figure of eight, design you're working with. <laughs> so do I just keep going? Yeah, cool, you go. I'll nail it by the end of it. In the Granite Belt, about three hours from Brisbane, is a sweet-smelling shop which uses local and organic ingredients, and it goes by the name of Washpool Farm. Artistic, I call that one. <laughs> so we've got the chocolate base, we've got the vanilla frosting, and I'm just applying the strawberry frosting on top, and they look absolutely beautiful, if only we could eat them, hey? That sure saves on calories. This is true. They smell good too. Okay, all you sweet tooths, eyes off. These cupcakes are not for eating. This beautifully scented soapery in Ballandine is the creation of Melissa Thomas and she's been making these gorgeous handmade soaps for the past three years. Because I had some irritation caused by sulphates and started using handmade soap, I turned it over, looked at the ingredients and thought, I can make that. And there's such a trend at the moment around natural products and, and people wanting to know what's in their food and what's in their soaps. Exactly. Provenance is important. Extra virgin oil, I can say, that comes from the range just over there. The calendula petals that sit on the top of this soap uh, come, come from our own garden, grown organically. There must be something in the water, as this region has no shortage of creative people. Because a little further out of town in Wyber Bar is another sweet-smelling place offering handmade treats of the more edible kind. Heavenly chocolate is, well, heavenly. If you love all things made of glossy goodness, you can't go past these handcrafted delights or one of their scrumptious belly-warming wonders. Beautiful. This is called the Bianca White with hazelnut. It's one of 18 different flavours of hot chocolate on the menu. 18! Can you believe that? And the reason I chose this one is because my darling sister's name is Bianca. Heavenly's chocolatier Alba Conti is also clever with crafting moulds of a different kind. You can spot some of her wonderful creations peppered throughout the garden at Wisteria Cottage. Now this whimsical place is more than just a chocolate shop as Alba also welcomes guests to cosy up in one of her three comfy cottages perched on the hill. They're all fully self-contained and there's a complimentary breakfast hamper waiting for you on arrival, full of local produce. If you're staying here, why not let your creative juices flow by joining in on one of the very cool and colourful silk painting workshops. Great news is beauty is in the eye of the beholder and mine looks fantastic. Alba's good friend Sue Jerd from Alba Designs is a local silk painter and often holds workshops at Wisteria Cottage. I haven't concentrated this much since I can remember. <laughs> it's fabulous. It's very relaxing. And mesmerising. Yes, yes. While Sue spends most of her time crafting her skills for markets and local businesses, it's sharing her skills with others she enjoys most. I really enjoy to see, seeing the people, the way they what they come up with, their designs. I usually try and use something local. I'll send them out to find a, a plant matter or a, a flower or something from the local area or even a rock, and we'll, we'll work with that. Celebrating the array of creative people living in this area is Handmade in Country, a website which showcases local artisans like Sue. And you can see that the wax is holding your dye there. Jules McMurtry from Southern Queensland Country Tourism believes it's a great resource for handmade lovers to find local workshops. That's the beautiful part about handmade in country is it's allowing people to come out to these like to Southern Queensland Country and experience, you know, get tapping into that creative side by hooking into a workshop. There does seem to be a whole lot of creative people out here. Why do you think that's so? Um, well, I think country people make up the fibre and fabric of these communities and, um, and usually it's taken for them to be able to support their family that they are able to find an income from another source or at least be able to make their own products that they use themselves. Handmade in Country is full of information on various artisans and upcoming art classes across the Southern Downs, Toowoomba and South Burnett regions. And if you'd like to take a look at some of Sue's dazzling designs, the exhibition It's a Case of Art in the Mill is on the first weekend in May at the Case Mill in Ballandine. And Alba will be there too with a few of her quirky creations. Voila, my very own handmade silk scarf. And if you don't believe that I made it from scratch, well, I signed it. What do you think? Feels nice. Does it look good?